Hi, welcome to iFlip for Math, MathCast Lesson 5-5, Part 2, dividing by two digits for the second night, but this time using the standard algorithm. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote tonight is by John Wooden, who is a coach of the UCLA Bruins, and he's one of my favorite coaches just because I think he's a really wise man. He says, if you don't have time to do it right, when will you have time to do it over? That's why I make you check your problems, because if you don't figure it out correctly the first time, just fix it so that you don't have to wait until you get your homework or your test back to do it over correctly. It's just good to do it right the first time. Check your learning goal. It's to use the standard algorithm tonight to divide by two digits. Your learning goals are a little bit different because instead of using the crazy way or the devil's method, you're using front end estimation to figure out how many times the divisor will go into the dividend. Again, you can use your division song to remember your steps and subtract carefully. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first example. 550 divided by 57. It's kind of fun to see pictures of John Wooden by those tall basketball players, isn't it? Let's see how we work this problem. It's always a little bit strange to work a problem the, using the standard algorithm after using the crazy way because we don't write any doubling numbers down the side. We're going to use front end estimation. First of all, we know that 57 is not going to go into 5, so we can put an X there. And it's not going to go into 55, we can put an X there. Now, when we use our front end estimation, we round to the greatest place value. So we're looking at rounding 57 to 60 and rounding 550 to 600. That would mean that 60 goes into 600, we know about 10 times, but we have a single digit quotient here. So let's try nine. So we have to come over to the side and multiply nine times 57. Nine times seven is 63. 9 times 5 is 45, plus 6 is 51. 513, so we'll write that right underneath, just like we did using the crazy method, and we'll subtract. 0 minus 3, we can't do it. I'll have 4 left over. 10 minus 3 is 7. 4 minus 1 is 3. Now, 57 is not going to go into 37. 37 is less than our divisor, as it should be. So we'll write remainder 37 here. Now, to check it, remember you multiply 57 times 9. Take that answer and add your remainder, plus 37. And your answer there should be 550, which is your dividend. So here are some practice problems. I want you to try doing them using the standard algorithm, but if you want to check them doing it the crazy way, as well as using multiplication, you can. 254 divided by 29. Use the standard algorithm to, to divide them and then check them with multiplication. Push play when you're ready. Did you write 8 remainder 22? This front end estimation may be new for you, so let's see how we did that. So 254 divided by 29. We know that 29 won't go into 2, so we can put an X there. And it won't go into 25, so we can put an X there. Now we're going to use our front end estimation. If we round 29 up to 30, and we round 254 up to 300, we know 30 goes into 300 10 times, but we only have room for a one digit divisor, plus we would never write 10. It's always going to be less than 10. So we can come over here and multiply 9 times 29 and see what our answer would be. 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 2 is 18. Plus 8 is 26. 261. That's greater than the number we're looking at right here, our dividend. So it can't be as high as 9. So let's try 8 times 29. This is this multiplying off to the side. We kind of call it guess and check. This is what we avoid when we use doubles division. But it's kind of a challenge to do it this way too. I enjoy it. 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 7. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 232. That's less than 254. So let's try that. 232. So we're going to write our quotient up here, the 8, and now we'll subtract. 
4 minus 2 is 2, 5 minus 3 is 2, and 2 minus 2 is 0. Our remainder right here is already less than our divisor, and we only have a one-digit quotient, so I'll write remainder 22 here. Don't forget to check it, 29 times 8 plus 22 is 254. There's John Wooden on his birthday. Number 2, 260 divided by 46. Let's try that one and then push play when you're ready. Did you write 5 remainder 30? These are really big remainders. Let's see how we got that. This time I'm going to show you a slightly different way of using front end estimation. In this case, I'm going to look at this and round this number still to a 5. So I'll write that here. Let's write it over here somewhere. 5. And then I'm going to look at just this part, 26. 5 goes into 26 about 5 times because 5 times 5 is 25. So let's see what 46 times 5 actually is. Now I'm multiplying it times 5 not because I rounded 46 times 5, but because I said 5 goes into 25 about 5 times. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3 is 23. See how close that estimate was? Let's see. Let's try this. Now, 46 won't go into 2. We forgot to put our x's here. And it won't go into 26. So we know we have a one-digit quotient again. 0 minus 0 is 0. 6 minus 3 is 3. And 2 minus 2 is 0. We're not going to write that. Our remainder here is already less than our divisor over here. So that means that 5 was the correct quotient and 30 is less than 46, so 30 is our remainder. Trying to do it by using just the number on the front end, rounded, and the first two numbers might be a little easier for you than just your mental math estimating. It just depends on what works for you. Check it by multiplying 5 times 46. We already did that. It's 230. Plus the remainder is 260. So our answer is the same as our dividend. That saved me some time even on my checking. It's time to challenge yourself. John Wooden gained lasting fame with UCLA by winning 620 games in 27 seasons and 10 NCAA titles during his last 12 seasons, including seven in a row from 1967 to 1973. Under him, the Bruins held an 88-game winning streak and had four perfect 30-0 seasons. Assuming that the number of men on his team was the same each year, if Coach Wooden coached 989 young men in 23 years of coaching, how many men did he coach each year? Have some fun figuring that out. Show your work and explain your answer in your flip journal and check your answer in class tomorrow. Finishing up, I know that front end estimation is tricky and we'll work on it tomorrow some more in class. Some of you are already good at this. You've been using um, standard algorithm for multiplying by, I mean, excuse me, dividing by two digits, even three digits. So right now, just to give me a little information, write down if you are at a level one, two, or three in your learning. Write down any questions you might have. You've completed lesson 5-5, part two, dividing by two digits using the standard algorithm. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.